What did you learn about the guys that you have? I learned that these kids are tough, and, and when they're up against adversity, they just they just take it up another level. They stick together, they fight through every single day as they did last year right to the end. How much of that do you think is ingrained in the community? Uh, you know, it's, Ferndale is not exactly the most affluent community in in the area, and, and a lot of these kids may not have great upbringings. How much do you think that, that toughness starts from from within, from the time that they're born until you know they're 16, 17, 18 years old. You know, I don't, I don't think a lot of people understand how tough these kids are and, and what they go through. But uh, it, it's, it's an amazing. It's just amazing what, what you know, how they face things. It's, it's, it's so mature. Um, people in the community are proud of them. I mean, even, even when we went to other games after, after what happened with us. Uh, we had parents come out of the stands telling us, you know, how good of a job we're doing, hanging in there, keep fighting. You know, it, it's just amazing. It is sometimes, I mean, obviously, you know, the old saying, you play to win the game, but it is, is it possible that maybe you get more as a coach and, and as a father figure, a lot of these guys, maybe you get more joy out of seeing what they can do when their backs up are against the wall in life and on the football field and maybe just score more points than the other team? Exactly. I mean, football is just an extension of the classroom and we teach a lot of things through football that they're going to use in life and uh, we taught a lot. We taught a lot. And one thing that we also have to understand as coaches, we learn from these kids too. We learn a lot from these kids. We just stick them together in the end we're family. So what do you guys have this year number wise? Uh, are you are you guys in fear of the same thing happening again, or did, did you get a lot of uh, you know fresh meat, so to speak, uh, in the off season? Yeah, we we're looking at like 27 kids, which is great, great. and 14 of them are freshmen. <laughs> so we're, we're we're starting over, but I think. Starting over with with uh, a great group of freshmen and a great group of returners that are taking these kids under their wing from what they went through last year. So it's it's a real good mix, and we're real excited about it. Almost like an expansion team in a way. Um, I mean, but in a way, I mean, when you have half the team being freshmen, do, as a coach, do you feel like all right, you know what? They're the clay, and and I, you know, I get to mold them into football players and young men. Yeah, um, it, it's a little bit easier for me though because a lot of these, a lot of these players that I have that are returning are very mature, and they make my job easier because they take these younger kids under their wing and explain them. Here's what we went through. This is the way we got to be. This is the way we got to gel together. So, yeah, they 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 are a big help in, in that aspect. The returners that you have coming back, what what's the best thing that they bring on the football field? Uh, leadership and, and grit from from the dirt on the ground <laughs> they come from. I'm telling you, they are a tough group of kids, and they 